This morning we want to continue by zooming in on the Douglas County race. The Tri-County school mask mandate has led to some heated school board meetings. And now with the change in the health department, the big question is will a flip in the school board follow? Denver 7's education reporter Nicole Brady is here. And Nicole, candidates you've talked with want to get back to the business of just teaching kids. They do. They all do. And while masks may only be a temporary issue, the outcome of this school board race will have an impact on big decisions in the future. And it could affect the balance of district decision making versus parental choice. On one side, it's the kids first candidates, all newcomers, including Christy Williams and Mike Peterson, who admit the pandemic policies are part of why they're running. DC doesn't stand for Washington, DC. Uh, it stands for Douglas County. We always want to put Douglas County first, and we don't believe that this board's currently doing that. They want more decisions to be left to individual school leadership, educators, and parents. What I would hope for our community is that they can look at this board, everybody, the whole community, can look at the board come November and say that person up there represents me. On the other side is the Community Matters slate, which includes two incumbents who say they understand the frustration on all sides. It's been tough and I completely understand. People are passionate about their kids, you know, just just as we all are. I mean, that's the reason I ran for the board. At the end of the day, we all want the same thing. A 65,000 student to be able to learn, go to school, safely at a time when school board meetings across the nation have gotten out of control at times when COVID has divided the community. These candidates, while they have different values and opinions, say they respect different perspectives and want civil discussions. You know, our slogan should be bring back boring because that's what school boards are supposed to be, right? They're not supposed to be full of drama. We're supposed to be talking about mill levy and bond expenditures. Just be kind because everybody is coming out from, you know, the pillars of their heart and trying to do whatever they think is the best. And even though there are two slates of candidates, candidates with aligned priorities and values, each candidate in Douglas County is running individually. So it's possible you could get a mix from both slates elected. Of course, we'll be looking into other school board races around the state as well. School boards have gotten a lot of attention this year, guys. In Colorado, there have been four different efforts to recall school board members. Yeah, people fired up this time right. around, Molly. Gives you an idea of the climate right now. Thank you, Nicole.